Right, so it's time for the Mitsubishi to go for a remap. Well, in a couple of weeks. Uh, it was mapped in 2013, I think it was, or 12, um, done by Indigo GT. I don't know them, don't know anything about them, so can't really comment, but it's obviously lasted that well because it's been nine years or 10 years. And it's still okay, but since buying the car, um, I thought I'd take it to Royal Road and get it checked out. Um, I'm also gonna do a couple of upgrades for it. One is I'm gonna change it to coil on plug. Um, instead of having a coil pack and then plug leads to the spark plugs I'm just going to do like a direct bolt on kit from uh, who's it from again track formula um, it comes with all the bits you need and I'm going to get that done in a minute and then also it's getting a speed density calibration done yeah so obviously a uh, coil pack somewhere I don't actually know where the coil pack is I'll find it but we're basically going to remove this panel here and plug into it and then uh, change that to coil on plug instead of plug. Well, we'll have a look in, in a minute and see what that is. But anyway, when we get it mapped, we're getting, the, getting rid of the airflow meter. You're going to do what they call a speed density calibration. So that's going to remove that. And I've also got a new bit of pipe that comes from the turbo to there with a brand new filter because that's uh, still, nothing wrong with it. It's still a bit rusty. So I thought I'd replace that because again, I don't know how old that is. That could be nine, ten years old as well. So we're just getting through little jobs and little bits and pieces to try and uh, basically just improve this slightly. So first things first is we'll get this, uh, get these four bolts out of there and we'll have a look under there. And then um, we'll get this uh, coil on plug fitted, kit fitted. Yeah, so this is the thing we're replacing. It's quite interesting, so it's got... Yeah, so it's like it's got like a little kind of coil pack that goes onto one of the plugs and then a lead that goes through and you've got two of them. So yeah, so we're going to replace all of that. Uh, yeah, so that looks pretty straightforward. So I'll unplug both the wires first and get on with it. Um, that's an interesting sort of setup that actually. So there you, there you go, it's, um, it's an interesting device. So it's like, almost like it's got um, like a mini coil pack into that one there and then a lead into it. Anyway, that's interesting. So, yeah, so there's one removed, I'll get this one out. There, so. And that means we can replace everything. So you, there's a light screen on there. I'll also give it a wipe down because we can see people moan that it clean things properly so I'm trying to make this as clean as possible this car it's a magnesium cover on these there they go hopefully never to be fitted again I don't know about this yet, I might leave that off. We'll see what it looks like with the uh, coil on plug thing sitting there, because it's got a carbon fibre panel on it. Um, might look kind of cool once I've cleaned that up. Let's go give that a wipe over anyway. The yeah, engine maze looking pretty tidy these days. Look at that, the way. I've got like a shiny paper set that comes up there. It's got a big old cane and fill it to the there. So it'll look a bit neater as well. So this is the replacement out of its packet. Um, it's got a carbon fibre plate. Uh, and then Delphi coils, is it? Yeah, Delphi coil packs. And all the wiring's done. It's ready to just basically plug in. Of course, it's now absolutely chucking it down like normal. Welcome to Cumbria. But yeah, so wipe, wipe that go. Uh, and then I'm just going to basically plunk that on top, push them down on top of the uh, spark plugs, plug it in, bolt it down, and then hopefully it should start and run fine. Hopefully. It's supposed to anyway. It's supposed to be direct plug in. I'll have to remove that plug just to get to it. Um, this wire is a bit long, but it did say that the wires are a bit long, so you can move them where you want to. Um, same with that one, so I can actually pull that back out there a bit and plug it in sort of down there if I need to. But it should be okay. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty smart. Um, hopefully the spark plug does fit back on because, I don't know, I kind of want to buy a carbon fire one for it, but if I don't, I guess that does look kind of cool, I suppose. Yeah, so let's get this bolted in. 
the cog is quit and then uh, we can get the car ready to go for its remap which uh, will be the next part of this video so the only actual problem I've encountered is that I can't fit this plug back on there again with that on its bracket so I'm going to have to unbolt this bracket with this plug on slide that plug out of the bracket put it back together it's just not going to have a bracket but uh, it's not really going to cause it a problem I don't think but yeah so I can't actually because of the cold pack I can't get that back on but yeah just two tens to remove it again that's a piece of piece but everything else straight in no problem as well. so the important bit is is it going to start I guess um, let's find out yeah, it should do, hopefully. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. There we go. It does, straight away, no problem. Wicked. That's cool. Uh, ABS fault, that's amazing. Uh, it's a rear sensor. Uh, I've got one, and I'll be doing that hopefully tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's all running. Supposed to be smoother, we'll find out. I love a cool noisy Land Rover, if you can hear it. Right, so basically, to get the plug cover back on, I'm going to have to um, separate this bit of wiring out of that bit of harness there, um, and then rewrap it so that that's got enough length so that that plug there can actually go behind there, and I can tape it up into that loom because I can't fit that plug anywhere else. I don't think so that the plug cover will go back on. Um, I sit the tuck underneath next to that one, I don't think it will because of the length of those wires. Um, doubt it's going to sit tuck under there, it just doesn't look like there's enough room. So, yeah, to make this fit, I just trim that little bit of wiring down there, unwrap it all, and then rewrap them as two separates. I should stop now, it just allows me to yeah, move that plug down there. That side looks okay, I'm not too bothered about that. I might uh, tuck it down the way instead at some point, but I think that's alright, it's not really a problem. The rest of it fits really well and most of the it starts and runs again. So yeah, so that's the column plug changed from whatever these things are and were. Normally like you see like a coil pack with four leads coming off it. That's the way I look at it, but this is, looks to be like two coil packs with two extra leads coming off. So tell me if I'm wrong, but that's what that looks like. So straightforward enough. Um, that and most importantly is it works and runs so that's it job done i can't change that pipe that i've got uh, until it's mapped because obviously i need to drive it there with that still connected so while they're doing some stuff i will take some tools i'll swap it over outside hopefully that's, the, that's my idea anyway so yeah so next up mapping there you go easy easy to sort just have to like I say, trim a tiny bit of the wiring loom and then push it back down the way. The job's good. Uh, you wouldn't even know it's there. How cool is that? So yeah, coil on plug. Let's put the rest of the stuff in the bin. 